This is Piano Adventures, level 3A, Technique and Artistry book, pages 34 and 35, Olympic Torch. And if you're learning this piece, then you are almost to the end of the book. Congratulations. Okay, just a few things to look at before I play. Key signature, think of scale fingering and scale notes as you play these passages, right hand and left hand. Look at your time signature, but practice this in more of a 4-4 time. Just keep it slow as you work out the rhythms and the notes, and then speed it up so you feel it in two. Watch your di uh, damper pedal marks. Notice when there's no damper pedal on these left hand scales. So just a few places to leave that pedal out. And then um, listen for your dynamics and your accent signs. We're listening for big, joyous sounds. And you can let that last chord ring out as long as you like. Sometimes it's nice to just sit and really listen to the quality of the sounds that are held together with the damper pedal. Use small wrist bows, especially on these last chords. Um, but you can use those wrist bound bows other places. Whenever you have these half note chords or the whole notes, remember use a, a larger bow, a deeper bow for the whole notes. That bow motion is to cushion the drop of the wrist. So instead of dropping and then holding stiff, we want to cushion that with a, a bow and then we come back up so that the motion stays smooth and so the wrist stays flexible and doesn't stiffen up and stop. That creates a lot of tightness that we don't want because that will, after a while, hurt our wrist quite a bit. It's like the difference of jumping uh, from, a high, from a high place onto concrete where you just stop, or jumping onto a trampoline where you have that cushion and then bounce back up. So that's uh, a good image to think about as you're dropping down, we don't want to just stop. We want to cushion and rebound. Have fun as you learn Olympic torch. Practice, count, count it out slowly. Um, really watch the ties in your left hand because it's easy sometimes to lose track and, and play a note that's, that's supposed to be tied. Um, especially since you're changing some pedal on some of those ties. So there's some coordination things here. That's why it's good to really take it slowly as you work out the details and then speed it up. Have lots of fun and make beautiful celebratory sounds. <laughs>